all of those things, all of those things, apply to, apply to the state of Israel in its treatment of the Palestinians, and yet the government is concerned about its use of language uh, and doesn't feel it is appropriate to even use the word apartheid when Amnesty International, the most respected human rights organization in the world, and Human Rights Watch, within a very short period of time, issue these damning reports saying that Israel, since its foundation, has been built on a system of oppression and domination and apartheid and racism involving the murder uh, of unarmed, innocent civilians on a regular basis, arbitrary detention and imprisonment, land annexations, the displacement of people, the denial of basic fundamental rights to six million Palestinians who are displaced outside Israel in the occupied territories to the right to their return to, uh, to their homes, to the illegal blockade uh, of uh, Gaza, uh, which has left, as they say in the report, Gaza in a permanent state of humanitarian crisis, denying people access to food, to water, uh, and treating the Arab population as a whole, the Palestinian population as a whole, as an inferior race. I mean, it doesn't get stronger than this. And yet you want to be careful about your language. You're happy to correctly use the most strong and robust language to describe the crimes against humanity of Vladimir Putin, but you will not use the same strength of language when it comes to describing the Isra Israel's treatment of the Palestinians when it is now being documented and detailed by two of the most uh, respected human rights organizations in the world, and indeed has been alleged by dozens and dozens of non-governmental organizations, uh, and to be honest, anybody who looks honestly at the decades of brutal, inhumane persecution of the Palestinians, successive assaults uh, on Gaza, the annexation of their land and territory, the systematic application of apartheid rules, you don't want to even use the word apartheid. Never mind sanctions. Five days sanctions against Putin and his thugs, 70 years of oppression by the Palestinians, and it wouldn't be, what was the word you used? Uh, it wouldn't be helpful to impose sanctions. Uh, Amnesty International are calling for Israel to be referred to the International Criminal Court for Crimes Against Humanity. Will you support it? They are calling for targeted sanctions against Israeli officials who are perpetuating the system of apartheid. Just exactly the same types of sanctions you've just initiated against Vladimir Putin. Will you support it? Uh, and I think the answer is clearly you're not going to. And then we ask the question, why? Why? Now, you see, if you're going to have moral standards, those standards have to be consistent. Otherwise, they are not standards at all. They are just cynicism. And, of course, we all know the reason that the standards are not consistent is because to call out the apartheid state of Israel would be to run foul of the concerns of certain states that are now presenting themselves as defenders of democracy uh, and so on, such as the United States, the UK, Germany and other powers, whose relationship with Israel, supporting it and backing it, means that the European Union's uh, moral credentials uh, are bankrupted.